Yo, 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 what it is, what it is, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's Key, and I'm back in the building with another video. What is going on, guys? What is going on? We're back. We're in the car. Gotta go back to the office today. Um, again, for those of y'all who didn't know, um, I did test positive for COVID. Uh, but I was asymptomatic, didn't have no symptoms. This was about a couple of weeks ago. Um, still been working from home, still giving me all the content or whatever. But this is like my first official day back into the office. Hopefully, they let me go back to working from home. But anyway, anywho, I'm fine. Uh, for all those who did know, appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Uh, I'm fine. Um, gonna be wearing two masks today. Uh, so anyway, just wanted to come on here and do a little rant not too serious just what's going on in the philly nation uh around the sports league um pretty much just phillies and sixers i'm not phillies and sixers sixers and the uh, eagles really um sixers on a two game losing streak uh we lost to portland and had heartbreaker and then we lose to um phoenix and then it doesn't get no better tonight because we gotta go against the red hot red hot utah jazz donovan mitchell and rudy gobert are over there in the west doing their thing i believe they're eight, 18 to one or eight, 18 or something but they're they're killing it so uh let's see if we can stop the red hot jazz but i just want to come on here and <sighs> my i i just got a strange feeling that i'm going to be sad sad Eagles fan as the season goes right now I'm not too excited about what's going on or what's going to happen uh, of course you know got a new head coach got the coaching staff you know I'm not worried about the coaching staff I'm just I, I don't know what we're going to do with this number six pick um, you know the trades with Carson Wentz um, is either going to happen or it's not going to happen I'm just over it over the situation if you're going to do it do it if not you know Carson let's move on and go out there and still be a professional but still he hadn't said nothing about nothing then you know Zach Gertz he's definitely not coming back so he's going to be on a trading block they're either going to cut him or they're going to trade him now what they're trying to do is put him in the package and they do trade wins now I'm hearing that the Seahawks and the Colts want wins I mean when a Hurts with the Seahawks, you know, Disley, um, and some other uh, tight ends that they have. You know, Zach Ertz would probably would fit with Russell. That would be a good, good uh, thing for Russell because he hasn't had a real decent tight end lately. Um, and with the Colts, they still got Jack Doyle and uh, Cox, but they think he's, he's going to be a free agent. And they have another tight end. I think it's going to be a free agent as well. So, of course, that Gertz would love to reunite with Frank Reich. So, we'll see how that's going to go. With this whole Carson Wentz thing, I'm over it. You know, oh, well, we want a first round for him. Um, and all this other stuff. And the picks ain't right. So, I just want to know, is the trigger going to be pulled or not? What are we doing? I'm just over it. Over the antics. Um, this is the year... That Howard Roseman has to prove that he's 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 capable of being a good general manager because the last couple of seasons he has not been. He has not been. And I believe if something goes down this year, we're gonna need a joint and we're gonna need a new GM too. It's just crazy how how he still has a job. Um but the draft is coming up. I'm interested to see who we get at number six. Now Jalen Hurts is, you know, he's been talking. He's communicated with the Eagles new staff and coaches. And he's ready to go out there and work. So if we're going to go with the move with making George, Jalen Hurts our QB, we need to give him some help. Definitely all the offensive line. Brandon Brooks, I believe, will be back this season after that Achilles injury. But the thing with Brandon Brooks is... He's definitely good, but can he stay healthy all season? Um, got Andre Diller back. Hopefully he can stay healthy. Now, Jason Peters, he's not 
not coming back, but he said he's not done. He just don't want to play with the Eagles. I don't know who's going to pick him up. But anyway, we're not getting JP back. Jason uh, Kelsey, it's a toss-up. We don't know if he's going to retire or he's going to come back. So hopefully in the draft, we do try to pick up, you know, a center and see how that works out. But you know, the linebacking core has been an issue. Um, of course, secondary. And then again on that, uh, you know, another receiver to help out Jalen Hurts. But that's my take and everything on this, this Eagles situation. I'm just over the whole Carson Wentz thing. Are you going to trade him or are we not? What are we doing? Let me know what you think. Are y'all over it, Eagles Nation? Because I'm over it. Are y'all going to be a sad, sad, depressed Eagles fan when the season comes? I have a feeling that I'm going to be. And it's going to be more and more videos of Eagles disappointing me. But we'll see. We'll see what uh, Nick can do at head coach and see if he can turn this uh, team around. I mean, he has some staff that did develop a Justin Herbert. And as you see, he is rookie of the year. And he's doing okay with San Diego, uh, with the Chargers. Los Angeles Chargers, not San Diego. He's doing okay. And then I feel like, you know, we got a coach that knows Jalen Hurts from college. So I feel like Jalen Hurts can be that elite quarterback in the NFL that we know he can be. With them four games we did see, we did see a little bit of what he can do. We get him, we can surround him with some weapons. It's going to be dangerous. I, I just think that. Give him a line, give him the weapon. We already got uh, the running back. We got Miles Sanders. We're going to implement Miles Sanders more. Miles Sanders would be uh 1200 yard receipt running back um because i know he can run doug i don't know why he just didn't utilize the running game i don't know but um it's gonna be interesting so i'm excited but then i'm not excited but again i'll have your sixers recap uh video later on today so post game so reach out for me to that come check me out and again and again as always don't forget your key in the building merch. Again, we got stickers, we got t-shirts, we got it all. Just go to www.spotlightsportsnetwork.com and hit the merch link. And you'll get all the merch to everybody, not just myself. Uh, everybody on the Spotlight Sports crew, uh, you can get as well. And as always, guys, I'm in the building. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe if you need all your Philly news. I got you covered. As always, I'm in the building. I will see you in another video.